Welcome back to Clan Hollow as we continue to try and build a great settlement here. Let's go ahead and get started. I think our next goal will be to build our smelter and then look at another food source. I'm, I'm trying to decide You know, if I do like a, a like bread, I'll need to put in a grist mill, which requires power, and bakery. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's better than maybe putting in some chestnut trees somewhere. Though I'm not sure where I would put in some chestnut trees. At least not enough chestnut trees to. to feed um, a food production. So we're waiting on some planks for that guy there. And the reason we're looking at a smelter next is because it, it does take a while for um, the smelter to make metal blocks. Okay, so this is now empty. And I don't anticipate needing it over here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We're finishing up those items that we had said we were going to work on last time, which is moving these power wheels over here and away from their temporary position. And doing that should give us a break in using planks because these do not use planks, just logs, and allow us to build up some planks. Here comes our drought. Oh, we don't actually need you over here running it. If we're going to build our smelter, we'll need more power because we kind of are at the, we're kind of pushing it. I mean, we're not there yet. We're not over our power production yet, but we would be if we're continuing to run these three plus the smelter.
So now we have a supply of over 400, only a demand of 220. But as you can see, the demand here for just a smelter is 200. Up to 31 planks and 30 gears. Let's go ahead and get that started. Looks like I forgot to unpause the houses. And it looks like I got carried away and forgot to raise my, my floodgates. Now you can see we're underpowered. I, I probably don't need this guy. I do need this guy. Because right, we do have enough gears already to build this. Well, it's a long drought for me to have not been paying attention and not close my floodgates and try to maximize my catch here. I'm at point sixty six. All right, I was going to say, why are people, why are people hungry, and why are people um, thirsty? Just hadn't gone and gotten water yet, I suppose. Carrots are full. Grilled potatoes are practically full. This plant just for grins. Some sunflowers there. Now, why do I care about planting sunflowers there? Sunflower seeds are plus one in getting our well-being at a higher level. Notice this beaver is only at level eight, but the higher we get, the more that uh, these these stats here improve. So, you know, sunflower seeds is point one or plus one. So, if we can get them, why not? Problem is, see, they're not that, they're not as efficient as carrots. Five days, you get two sunflowers. Whereas in carrots, you get four days, you get three sunflower, or three carrots. Okay, well, this is almost built. We will have to pause it as soon as it's built. We don't have the power to run it. See, in the meantime, yes, we want to build up our planks because we want to start putting in some large warehouses. I think... I might go ahead and... Uh, we don't have enough surplus population, though, to start a grain or bread industry. Hmm.
80 planks. Well, might as well start doing it. Point five six. It's our reservoir here that is kind of getting drained a little fast. I may end up regretting that placement in the future. Putting it there though, because I'm thinking I want to put, I'll put a couple of other water pumps along here. Otherwise, I would have put it here, but. for plank production. We'll go ahead and we'll start putting up these levees. Because now that I've got some working industry over here, we'll probably get some flooding over in this direction. We'll see, but probably that's what I'm guessing. I don't know if you if you guys are interested in just watching them do their thing while we're waiting for th them to build stuff. Um, if you'd rather that maybe, you know, I cut this out and show just the final product whenever they're finished building or whatever it is they're building, let me know. Let me know in the comments what the preference is. And there I was just checking to see if I had somebody in. Probably I don't need to put you as carrot priority anymore. Um, but I was checking to see if that I had somebody on prioritizing harvest. Get a fireplace going. And we'll put it right here. A couple of them. We'll put them by the houses so that you know they don't have to go very far to um, enjoy the fireplace or the fireplace, the campfire. Checking to see. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and say no more of that.
Should I go for Grilled Spatter Dock next? Oh, this guy here is not a watered spot. So once that's cut down, we won't replant it. I'm tempted to put a woodcutter right here so he, he, they'll focus on getting rid of these guys. Okay, drought's over. Point thirty three, that's was getting low, one point oh three. So drop by two there. watching for flooding. Let's see if the surge of water will, will cause anything to flood there. The sloshing begins. Coming close, but not, not flooding, so that's good. Oh, we got flooding here. Metal blocks. Let's get some gears going on again. Our next uh, little project here will be building a paper mill. Because it, it's going to be a while before we'll have 30 blocks to build a, an explosives factory. Okay. I'm thinking, do they really have much to do? Maybe not. We can pause one of our beavers, or one of our lumber mills, because now pretty much all we're doing is um, producing planks for the gear production. Let's address this flooding that occurs over here. Wait, no, let's not do that there. Going to pause this guy so we don't end up with uh, beavers stuck in here somehow. Everybody but one guy is, or one beaver is 
See you in the campfires. And why do we have some hunger and thirst going on? I'm thinking we probably want to build one more level of housing here. So let's go ahead and do that, get that started. We'll pause it once they're built. But we'll get them ready for habitation. I think we have enough surplus population that we can go ahead and build a hauling post. But I don't think with, with five workers. Let's make this a priority, get this built. Because we're not really having to worry about this so much until the next, until the next drought's over and the water comes flooding back in. Should add some efficiency there. Looks like we're never filling up our water tank. And there, these guys should be working. They, they should be, that should only need about two water pumps here with this population. Because each can support about 20 beavers. So, I mean, I'm at 36. Maybe it's time to put up another water pump. Why is it taking this case so long to produce gears? I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
logs. Oh, because I was going to say, why are there logs there? It's because I started to build a levee there. Seven hundred energy production, only three hundred usage, so that's good. tank full, filled up there. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Who's out? I don't see my. I don't see my inventor's not going. So who's out of worker? And that's okay. Uh, yeah, we don't. All right. We don't really need that guy. And in fact, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to build. make that to obtain so that the uh, smelter hopefully the hauling post is bringing the scrap metal over for the smelter anyway but if the smelt if it isn't the smelter um, should only have to come over here and grab some scrap metal as opposed to are we full as opposed to going and getting it themselves uh, reducing their efficiency So they can only produce 33. Cutting it down to the wire here, get some additional housing going. I'm wondering, I'm thinking that my I'm thinking I don't really need that many lumberjacks. Yeah, because uh, we're full of lumber. Yeah. the paper mill being built let's go ahead and unlock the beehives
The other thing we'll do is we will unlock the scarecrow just for decoration. That takes 10 paper, so since we're going to be producing paper. I think I probably have enough gears. I don't need the gears eaten up anymore. Let's see, because that takes 30 gears. All right, well. Let's get up to 30 gears. Because we're almost at 30 metal blocks. I think that's the fastest a smelter I've ever seen a smelter produce metal blocks. I think I'm going to delete this guy here. No, maybe not. And this is going to be paper. Trout's coming. Okay, we have 30 gears. I can pause that guy. Okay, well, it looks like we're at our time for this episode. I'm trying to keep them short so that, um, you know, it doesn't take an hour of your day or something to watch them. Uh, that you could just watch them when you have a, a few minutes. So I, I hope that's okay. Let me know if you'd rather have them be longer. So what we did this time was we, we built a large warehouse, moved our carrot production over there. I'm thinking about, um, Whatever new food production we start using this warehouse for that food. Uh, we built a hauling post. We built another water pump. We built a paper mill and a smelter. Which with 33 blocks, we probably can pause, but it's okay, we won't. Um, looks like we're, and, and our wood is we, we were sitting around doing nothing with lumberjacks because our wood was full. Uh, we added a few more houses. And so that's kind of all the things that we did in this episode. So thank you for joining the, the Hollow Clan as they continue to build their little community here. Hopefully you'll come back and join us in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Have a great day. And um, hopefully we will see you in the future.